Today, I'm going to show you how to remove red eye in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flearn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on Flearn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is going to be super quick and super simple. But for those of you guys who have red eye in your images, this is going to be a perfect tip for Photoshop. Now, before we get into the Photoshop part of it, we're going to talk just a second about red eye. And red eye is basically what happens when you use a flash that's on your camera, and the flash produces quite a bit of light that shines off the pupil in the eye, and then that reflects back into the camera. So this is an effect that you get when you're using a flash that's actually on your camera. So to avoid red eye in your images, try using a flash that's a little bit larger, maybe not the on-camera flash, maybe like a speed light, or just try turning the flash off altogether and try shooting in natural light. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our image and see how we remove red eye in Photoshop. So here's our image for today, and there are a lot of complicated tools in Photoshop, but we've actually got like kind of a hidden tool in Photoshop that's called the red eye tool. It's located right here under your healing brush or your spot healing brush tool. So we're just gonna click there and go all the way down to where we see the red eye tool. Okay, now settings by default are gonna be pupil size at 50% and darken amount at 50%. And by default, those settings work really, really well. Now the tool is super simple to use. All you have to do is just click and drag a square right around your pupil. Try to keep it in about the center and let go. And literally that's all there is to it. We're gonna do it for the other eye. Just click and drag right around and let go. And it does an amazing job actually removing the red eye in your images. So literally that's all there is to it. This was a lot more of an episode showing you guys where the red eye tool is and showing you guys that, red, that Photoshop actually has a red eye tool. Tutorial part, not so much. But we're gonna do one more thing in this episode just because I, I wanna give you some more nuggets. Um, we're gonna show you guys how to replace her, her tooth as well. So um, it looks like she lost a tooth. We're gonna just give her another one here. Um, I'm gonna use my clone stamp tool. So we're gonna hit S for the clone stamp tool. And uh, then we're gonna just sample, let's start sampling this tooth here. And then right over here, I'm just gonna paint another tooth. There we go. And we're on a new layer this time. There we go. So we've painted another tooth just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this horizontally. So we're gonna hit Command T, right click, and I'm gonna say flip horizontal. There we go. And then I'm gonna change the blending mode on our image. You can see how I've got some area here that's kind of like darkening the tooth in front of it. Um, but really all we want to show up is the tooth, which is a, it's gonna be a light color. So I can change my blending mode so where only the lights are gonna show up. So I'm gonna go from normal on my blending mode right here down to lighten. There we go. And that works really, really well. And now I can just put my new tooth in there and then I can use either an eraser or a layer mask to just erase over any surrounding areas that I need to to get that to blend in. And we can see, there we go, um, <laughs> didn't take too long, we got a new tooth. So I just wanted to throw in a little bit more to this episode. But you can see how easy it is to use the red eye tool in Photoshop. Just simply select the red eye tool and then drag a rectangle over the area you'd like to change and it'll move red eye instantly. Thanks so much for watching today's episode, guys. I hope it helped out. Next time you got some red eye in your images, uh, you don't have to cry yourself to sleep. You get a red eye tool in Photoshop. If you'd like to learn more about Photoshop and photography, just hit that subscribe button on your screen. We release free Photoshop and photography tutorials every single week. And if you have an idea for a new episode or a question or a comment about today's episode, leave it in a comment down below. I'm not sure what questions you would have because it was incredibly simple, but hey, <laughs> you never know. And if you love Flurn, please share it with your friends. It really helps us out grow our community. Thanks so much, guys. We'll learn you later. Bye, everyone. So, so some tips on, so some tips on, so some tips on avoiding red eye in the, all right. So some tips on avoiding red eye. So to avoid red eye, so, <sighs> we're gonna get this. What about green eye? Could you use the tool for green eye? Green eye doesn't exist. Oh, that was the worst joke I've ever, that was just horrible.